So news broke yesterday that supermodel Gigi Hadid, she was arrested last week in the Cayman Islands. She's all right, she's all right. It has been reported that she was in possession of medical marijuana. There was also paraphernalia that was found in the suitcase of one of the friends that was traveling with her. Now, after the arrest, she was released on bail. She was charged with a $1,000 fine. She was let go. Oh, it's pocket change for her. <laughs> She was let go without a conviction recorded. But then the supermodel proceeded to post this all over her Instagram. Oh yeah. yeah. The caption, as you can read, is all's well that ends well. OK, uh, there's so much to say. I feel like, Capri, why don't you kick this off? Jeez, I, you know, this one I, I thought about a bit. And here's where I, you know, I've come down. They, when I was back in my previous life, my nickname was Captain Compliance, okay? <laughs> my nickname is still Captain Compliance, let me tell you something. Uh, and, and so my point is this, is that Gigi Hadid, Hadid, right? You know, she should know. Now, I understand that she came from New York. She purchased this legally with a medical marijuana card in New York. It was legal in the Cayman Islands. But guess what? In between those two places, it's not legal. And so know the rules before you go, OK? And my big, que my big question is this. If she was not who she is, if she wasn't flying on a private jet, if she wasn't famous, if she couldn't pay the $1,000, did her privilege make this that much easier? If she was a person of color, um, if she was a person without, without financial means, would this ending be different? Would it not have ended in a bunch of bikini selfies? I would say probably. But you know what? Captain Compliance makes, makes you know, uh, takes no chances. I will tell you, when I was coming back from Quebec a couple years ago, back to the States, they're like, do you have anything to declare? I'm like, I have cheese and all dressed. Because <laughs> I'm just too guilty. So I could never do what she did. Uh, I had the same thought, though, which is like, there are uh, at least 40,000 people in the US, that's an approximate, who are incarcerated right now because of uh, charges related to marijuana. And the thing is, is that many of those were small amounts, right? Mm -hmm. And so that fact that we still need to draw attention to that fact and there is a huge amount of privilege. Most of the people who are incarcerated, I mean, a very big majority would be black. So yeah, that's a huge part. And then, yeah, I mean, I didn't love the selfies afterwards. It seemed like you could have just gone away and not talked about it, but instead there was a bit of a flex and I just mm. feel like it's an inappropriate match. I will say though, I, like, I'm captain compliance too, <laughs> in my own way. I am a rule follower. But I, I will say that since um, it has become legal in Canada, I have uh, partaken in, in a gummy from time to time. And I, I, I have sometimes <laughs> thought to myself, like I, I have a, you know, one of those backpacks with a million and one pockets. And I've wondered to myself, like, could I accidentally, because I'm so infrequent, could I accidentally, I'm not suggesting that's what she did, but could I forget it? Like, People this it, it, it could makes happen. me worry. It could happen. You know? Especially since, like, in Canada, domestically, you can travel with That's it. Right. Up to a certain amount. So I can fly, you know, when I fly to Vancouver, I wouldn't have to worry about the gummies in my backpack. But, right. like, if I'm then connecting from Vancouver to Japan... Or you put that then, backpack away right, for a yeah. while and you forget about it, and then you make a trip yeah, and you just it's a good reminder. It, it is. We all it's have to be reminder. vigilant about that. It's a that. PSA. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people who love to travel, and there's a lot of people who, who are traveling right now, uh, there's two things when it comes to travel people ask me a lot of travel advice uh, questions and there's two things that I do on every single trip number one is my husband and I have a list of countries we will no longer travel to mm -hmm. and the reason why is uh, they may be beautiful and they may need our tourism money but anywhere that law and order can be bought mm -hmm. we don't go there okay we don't go there yep just, we're not interested in having that kind of vacation. But secondly, and I don't know if a lot of people know this, when you do travel, at least when we travel in my family, we register online with the government of Canada. Yeah. We tell the government where we're going. So if something happens, like I'm not Gigi Hadid and I'm not you know, a supermodel who's got all this money and I get nailed for something and I'm in a jail, I need the government to know where I am. Because the number one thing that I think... It's a great tip. For me, the tip. lesson... We don't, most of us don't have that privilege that Gigi has. And so if I'm, it's incumbent on me then as the traveler, as you said, Captain Compliance, because I think we're, we have a squad now. <laughs> I need to know what are the rules, the big ones that I got to know yeah. where I'm going. That's on me. All these laws that protect me in this beautiful country called Canada, 
mean squat wherever you land. Right. And if you are a person of color and if you don't have a million dollars and you're not a blonde supermodel, you could spend the rest of your vacation or longer in a jail. So, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to bring this down because, you know, I love a good bikini selfie, but, <laughs> but I don't know that most of us would find ourselves can in I, that position. Can I try to defend the bikini selfie though? <laughs> yeah, 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 go for it, go for it, Amy. <laughs> I think that there are, I'm respecting current laws, for sure. Those are the laws, people should respect them. I understand that this is an example of privilege, 100%. I also think that this is an example of the stigma against marijuana. The reason why marijuana cannabis is illegal in other countries or many other countries is because, in part, there is a stigma against it. You know, alcohol is officially, a fact, a drug. Mm -hmm. We don't ever colloquially call alcohol a drug. It is in fact a drug. It's because alcohol is much more socially acceptable than other drugs like cannabis. We call cannabis a drug all the time. It's not, you know, colloquially referred to or not referred to as a drug the way alcohol is. And I'm talking about stigma right now because there are many countries like ours in Canada that has managed to uh, confront this stigma, mm -hmm. legalize the drug that is cannabis, right? But other countries and other societies aren't there yet. So back Including to the, the beginning, United States. Including federally. the United States, federally. So back to Gigi, I get it. An example of privilege, maybe it was a little bit of flex, but I also appreciated that she is a young single mother who was like, yep, I use cannabis, I use cannabis, I use cannabis medically. I am not going to be shamed for that. I got caught doing something not smart, I get it, but I'm not going to apologize for the fact that I use this substance. And I, 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 I like that. Yeah, I, I totally agree. I totally agree, but I think in addition to the stigma, mm -hmm. it's the fact that this very super successful supermodel got booked and was put in jail. I don't know mm -hmm. that it was just the drug part, but it's like, Gigi Adid was put in jail. And, you know, so I think there was part of that as well. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.